Hi, this is Chris from Needlepointers.com and today I'd like to show you how to put a, one of these borders on a towel. I have a previous video where I did put a border on a towel for recipe towels. Um, this border is just a little bit different and it's a little easier to put on and quicker. I'm sorry if I sound funny today and I hope I don't sniffle too much. Um, got some allergies going on today. It's spring and the pollen all just fell this weekend so I'm a little congested so hopefully it don't sound too bad. To put a border on the towel you need two pieces of fabric. One piece should be one inch wide and you need it to be a little bit longer about two inches or three inches longer than the width of your towel and you need one that's two and a half inches wide and again the same length. The, we want the length to be a little bit longer than the width of the towel. So as you can see, I, it's about an inch, inch to an inch and a half bigger on each side. The first step in putting the border on the towel is to take your one inch piece and fold it in half lengthwise. The next step is to go to the sewing machine and sew this piece onto the other, to the two and a half inch piece. So take the two and a half inch piece and put the raw edges, we want raw edges together so my folded edge is inwards and I'm putting the raw edges together and lining it up and I will sew a one quarter inch seam. The next step is to sew it onto the back of the towel. This is the back, um, I got the back of the towel and I'm going to put it right side down. So it's wrong side of the towel to the right side of your border. And this is because we're going to, once we sew it on here, we'll wrap the border around and so then the right side will be out properly. So remember, it's the wrong side of the towel up and put the right side of your fabrics down. And sew it leaving you know your extra off both ends. So I, I have about an inch there and I want to have about an inch on this end also when I once I sew it. And line up your the edge of your fabric with the bottom of the towel and so it's quarter inch seam. So I've sewn that on. Next we're going to go back to the ironing board and I'll show you how to iron this. Okay, I'm still on the wrong side of the fabric and the towel and I will Fold this back and iron it down. I also need to iron the little one inch strip that we put on here open. Now I've turned the towel over to the front and I have the wrong side of the border facing up, which is correct. Okay, so the next step is to fold over the side so it's in line with the side of the towel. And iron it. Then when I fold it up, I don't want to have this little tip with the raw edge showing. So what I usually do is tuck the corner down just a bit like that. So it's just tucked down and then I earn that.
and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, with both sides folded in, now flip this all the way up. And I mean, you could make it so that more of the less of the border is showing, but I usually just flip up the whole border so that it's, you know, flipped up to the edge of the towel. And you want to fold and you want to fold the your edge it's going to be on top of the towel it's not wrapping around the towel and I folded that little tip down now you can pin this in place and iron it the last step in putting the border on the towel is to sew the border down so that it's in the upright position so I've pinned it in a few places where I ironed it and I'm going to sew down I'm gonna do I will do stitch in the ditch I will do stitch in the ditch and sew right along the edge here I want to sew on the top of the pink fabric but just right next to the yellow fabric Now the towel border is finished. As you can see, I stitched in the ditch and I have this cute border on my towel. And they're ready to be used. If you are interested in seeing more photos or to get step-by-step -step instructions for this project, please click the iCard or the link in the description of the video to visit our website, needlepointers.com. By visiting our website and purchasing supplies through our links, you can help us keep making more videos. If you have a blog or a website, we would appreciate it if you can put a link to our project page on needlepointers.com or on your blog or website. So share our projects with your friends and on your blog. We can put a reciprocal link to your site too. You can keep up with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and following us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or Google Plus. Visit our website by clicking the iCard to find the links to follow us. If you're on Pinterest, pin our projects to your wall. This is a great way to keep track of your favorite projects. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, to find lots of other machine embroidery tutorial projects and tutorials.